Let's continue talking about the resources in Android. Now let's talk about the menus. Menus are a common user interface component in many types of applications. To provide a familiar and consistent user experience, you should use the menu APIs to present user actions and other options in your activities. Before we start, if you want to learn Android app development, Java, Kotlin, data structures and algorithms, and other programming courses, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe to join our family and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any lessons. Although the design and user experience for some menu items have changed, the semantics to define a set of actions and options is still based on the menu APIs. This tutorial will show you how to create uh, the fundamental types of menu or, or action present the presentation of all versions of Android. So we have three types, the options menu and app bar, the context menu and contextual action mode, and the pop-up menu. The options menu is the primary collection of menu items for an activity. It's where you should place actions that have a global impact on the app such as search, compose, email, and settings. If you want to master Android app development in both the Java and Kotlin languages, learn Java from zero and learn Kotlin from scratch. Master data structure and algorithms in C and Java. Join my Udemy bestseller courses to start publishing your own apps. Get the coupons from the description below. So how to create an option menu? We will start by creating the option menu, which is the most important one. And later on in the next videos, we will talk about the pop-up menu and the context menu and contextual menu. So I want for, uh, from you to know just if, if, you, if you have uh, like, um, uh, you know, like global information about the contextual menu is the floating menu that appears when the user performs a long click on the element. It provides the action that affects the selected contact content or context frame. This is in the previous video, we will create it. And the pop-up menu, a pop-up menu displays a list of items in a vertical list that's anchored to the view that invoked the menu. It's good for providing an overflow of actions that relate to specific content or to provide options for the second part of the command. We are interested till now as beginners in creating an option menu app bar. So let's start by creating an option menu bar. First of all, we go to the menu here, but to the resources folder, and we create a new Android resource directory. And I will click on the resource type and I select menu. So the directory name will be changed to menu, keep it, keep it as it. The resource type is menu and the resource source set is the main. Click OK and we have created this folder. Now, Inside this folder, I will click on a new menu resource and I will click on the file name, which is the, like, um, what is the name of the menu? Menu one, it's good. So we have created the menu one. This is the menu one. I will split it in the codes and start designing uh, and adding the elements of our menu inside this XML. So how to do that, how to add the options for this, we start by making an item tag. Did you see that there is a menu tag here? This is the menu tag and inside the menu, we start by creating the item. You see this box, it is, a, it is opening. So I will create an, start an, uh, an item by making it Android ID, specifying the ID mandatory ID, which is uh, like um, save, save, it's good. Android 
title, which is uh, like save. Okay, you see how it appears. I will create another menu or another item, sorry. Copy and paste. This, this time is called load. And here is load. And another item called new. And here is the new. Okay. So till now, I have created a menu with three options, the save, the load, and the new option. Okay. Let's go and link it with the main activity. So how to add it to the main activity? This is a new file called menu one inside the menu folder. And I need to link it with the main activity layout. So how to do that? There is an overrided method or we need to override a method. So alt plus insert and let's go to the override methods or you can simply click on control and O. Now we are going to search for on create on create option options menu. This and click OK. So we have implemented this and overrided this method. So it took into the parameters the menu and it returns a boolean. Now we start by creating an instance of menu inflator called inflator equal to get menu inflator and we start by inflator dot inflate and i need to inflate inflating the layout may, means like displaying the layout so menu dot menu one and from the menu or the menu object that it is used here and return True, because it, its returning type would be Boolean. Okay, you can also add, me, add menu items using the add function and retrieve items by find item to revise their properties with the menu items. Okay, now let's handle the, uh, handle the click events. Okay. When the user selects an item, let's let's first run it and let's continue handling. When the user selects an item from the options menu, the system calls this the menu, and this is the menu. See you guys, this is the menu that we have created. So when the user selects an item from the options menu, the system calls your activities on options sel item selected method. This method passes the menu item selected. And you can identify the item by calling get item ID. Let's see how to add the functionality of this uh, menu. Let's go here. And as I told you, when you click on any option of the menu, an option menu item selected method will be called on options item selected okay now handle the item selection handling the item selection so we create a switch item dot get item id and we start by making a case the key is here start by defining the id so what are the IDs that we have defined in the menu here? Oops, what do I have done? If we click on the menu here, there is three items. The first one ID save, the second one ID load, and the third one ID new W. So here we start defining them by load, which is the loading. So I will create a toast message. Toast message means you can make anything, but uh, I'm here to test it like displaying a message. So loading, loading file. Okay. And we break from, the, from this case. 
Now, another case that I should make is the save, which is here in the th in this first one. So when the user click on the save, we put saving file. If the user click on the new, new w, the, there is a toast message telling us that, hey, I need to a new, new file, creating new file. Okay, I will make the length look long here in the toast message. Now let's learn. Uh, let's learn about the default. There is a default here that I told you in the um, in the section of Java, and we talked about the switch. And we said that we need to return the super here and on option item selected and I pass the item. Okay, this is important for default implementation. You can, when you successfully handle a menu item, return it true. If you don't handle the menu item, you should call the super class implementation of on options items uh, selected the default implementation returns false. So if your activity includes, includes fragment, the system first call on options item selected for the activity, then for each fragment until one returns true or all fragments have been called. We will see this in the later on the uh, later on on the fragment uh, section. But till now, let's let's run and see the the magic. So here, I remove it or not. So this is for this, this is for this. Okay, public, public, and we should return true here, I think. Okay. Return. Let's run and see. This is our. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below.